What is up guys, Ethan and Thrills here on Ethan Insiders, your Great Adventure rep, here to talk to you some, about some pretty exciting news for Six Plus Great Adventures 2019 Next Edition. So, giving you some backstory, as you know, of, as of June 14, 2018, the time of this recording, Six Flags Great Adventure has officially opened Cyborg Cyberspin. You should definitely go down, it is a great attraction that Six Flags has added to the park, and it also is a, and also is a really unique attraction that the park needed, which gives the park another great flag. Ceremony on June 13, 2018, the park president of the park, John Winkler, stated that the, they have been working on their 2019 attraction for over a year, which is pretty exciting. So we here on Amusement Insiders think that Great Adventure could potentially be getting a roller coaster in 2019 for their 45th year in operation. In this first speculation video for Great Adventure's 2019 project, I will be showing you three things. Number one, I will be showing you what has happened so far. Number two, I will be showing you the plot of land that this 2019 attraction could potentially be taking up. And number three, I will be showing you the three possible coasters that could be going in this area. So let's get right into the video. As you can see on the screen above, here you can see these green construction walls that have clearly shown up in the Golden Kingdom section of the park, near Splashwater Oasis and the Bloodshed Maze. A common theme that we see with these green construction walls is that it always signals a new attraction or addition is being added to the park. We've seen this with the new Ben and Jerry's that they're adding to the park in 2018 and other rides and attractions in previous years. That's why we here at Amusement Insiders think that Great Adventure could potentially be seeing a roller coaster in 2019. The last roller coaster that Six Flags Great Adventure got was back in 2016 with the Joker and the new park president John Winkler said that they've been working on their 2019 attraction for over a year now and I definitely think that that could be signaling a new attraction that's big, such as a roller coaster. So that's what we'll be talking about in today's video. The first roller coaster that I could potentially see going to Six Flags Great Adventure is an RMC Raptor. Now, why do I think an RMC Raptor could come to Six Flags Great Adventure? For one, it fits really well into the plot of land that is projected to be for the Six Flags Great Adventure 2019 attraction. As you can see, an RMC Raptor could fit really well into the plot of land that is projected for the 2019 attraction at Six Flags Great Adventure. Adding an RMC Raptor in the Golden Kingdom section would give guests another reason to visit this part of the park, as as of right now, we only have Kingda Ka and Jumandrao in this area. Also addressing an issue that could occur when having an RMC Raptor at a Six Flags Park, the capacity wouldn't be too bad if you could dispatch trains every 30 seconds and you're constantly running through trains. With that type of capacity, you could hit around 1,000 riders per hour, which is really good for an RMC Raptor. Overall, adding an RMC Raptor to Six Flags Great Adventure in the Golden Kingdom area wouldn't be that bad of an idea. For one, you have the ride experience, and from what we've been hearing, the ride experience is amazing, featuring many elements like a really steep drop, awesome airtime, inversions, and bank turns. Also, due to the compactness of the ride, you'd definitely be able to fit into that plot of land. So, spacing for this coaster would definitely not be an issue. Overall, it's an RMC, so we already know that it would be a fantastic ride. And on top of that, adding an RMC Raptor would give the park another great coaster to add to their coaster lineup. Another addition I could potentially see going to Six Flags Great Adventure is a Skyline Sky Warp attraction. Now, I can see this being added to the park for multiple reasons. For one, there have been rumors that Six Flags Great Adventure have purchased one of these Skywarp attractions, and if they purchased one, I'm assuming it would have been one of the larger models, since this is a larger Six Flags park, unlike Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, which isn't as large of a park. Now, the only issue that I see with this is the fact that there is a lot of land that Six Flags Great Adventure has for a new 2019 attraction. A Skyline Skywarp attraction wouldn't need to be taken in the plot of land of Splash Water Oasis and the Bloodshed Maze. Therefore, I don't think this could be, this is as likely, but I'm not saying it isn't possible. I definitely do think that a Skyline Skyrope attraction is possible for Six Flags Great Adventure in the near future. And if they got one at the park, I would not be disappointed. The third and final roller coaster that I could potentially see going to Six Flags Great Adventure is an RMC T-Rex coaster. Now, there are multiple reasons as to why I think an RMC T-Rex coaster could also come to Six Flags Great Adventure. Now, before I begin, I think that this is the least likely of the three. Now, this definitely could be a possibility, but I could much rather see a Scarp or an RMC Raptor going to the park, aside from an RMC T-Rex. For one, an RMC T-Rex would be a first of its kind, which could then lead to the reason why they have been planning this coaster for over a year, uh, just like the park president said. So, an RMC T-Rex could have very well be the reason why they took over a year to plan this coaster. 
it would be a first of its kind and definitely giving some amazing growth. Also, the capacity would be pretty well and they also could fit that in that tight spot of land, giving it many uh, tight turns, airtime hills, and steep drops. Also, like I was saying, the capacity wouldn't be as bad and the capacity would definitely be better than a Raptor. So capacity definitely wouldn't be an issue with these RMC T-Rexes. Overall, I can see an RMC T-Rex at Six Flags Great Adventure because of its first of a kind uh, technology being the first RMC T-Rex. The capacity wouldn't be that bad of an issue too and they also could fit into that plot of land giving it tight turns, drops, and airtime. Overall, I think that 2019 will be a great year for Six Flags Great Adventure. Since the park has stated that they have been working on their 2019 attraction for over a year, I'm predicting that this ride will fit in well with the already amazing rides and attractions that Six Flags Great Adventure has to offer. Overall guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to give this video a like, subscribe if you want, and comment down below what you guys think Six Flags Great Adventure could receive in 2019. Do you think it could be something that I listed throughout this video, or do you think it could be something else? Whatever you guys think, leave in the comments down below. I will be following this topic more throughout the year as more construction goes on and more teasers go through. I can't wait to see what Six Flags has an offer for the 2019 season. Until then, guys, we will see you later.